Hey, it's Lee from TemplateLauncher.com. Thanks for coming and checking out our photo background template. I wanted to do a quick uh, run through on how to use this template and uh, just give you a little how-to video. So if you have any questions, um, you can check that and then feel free to drop us a line at TemplateLauncher.com. So uh, why don't I get the show on the road? Um, so this template is its really simple. But there are a little, uh, couple little tricks that I want to show you that can help you get the most out of this template. So um, we have built this little thing here called the control panel, and if you click this, you can hide it. Um, if you click it again, it'll pop back open. But um, under this tab called background, if you click that, we have a bunch of different settings that you can adjust. You can uh, choose an image from our image library. Um, or a different texture or color background. Um, but in addition to that, you can also upload your own background image. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the builder. But first, let me show you how this uh, control panel works. So uh, we, we have an overlay um, with an opacity, overlaying the image or texture or color background. Uh, in case you use a background color that is the same as your font color. So let me give you an example. So I'm going to take this opacity to zero. See, notice how it's a little harder to read the font. But if I if I use this background, for example, it's almost impossible to read the font. So with this overlay, you can make it a little darker. And now your font is visible. Um, go back down to zero there. And we have a whole library full of, uh, we've got a hundred images in here right now. Um, this is one of my favorites, Scuba Diver. Um, and these are all free and included in the template. So you can, and we're, we're always uh, adding new photos to the media library too. So it's not, you know, this isn't the end of of what you're gonna see. Ooh, I love that picture, beautiful. Um, darken it a little bit. You can also go to our textures. We have a bunch of different textured backgrounds. And keep in mind that the, you know, though the font is white here, you can change it in the builder. So don't be frightened away by that. Um, and finally, I'll show you some colors. This is just a handful of curated colors that we chose. Um, you can also, in the builder, there is a color palette where you can choose any color that you'd like. Um, so that is our control panel. Let me take you on over to the builder and show you a few tricks here. Okay. All right, so we're in the lead pages builder now. And just like in the preview, you have this background and you can swap, switch out the uh, background images. We'll leave it on that one for now. So let me show you real quick. Um, this isn't the most intuitive and I'm trying to think of a better way to do this but I thought maybe this video could make this uh, a little more clear how to do it. So <clears throat> this is the library background image and if we hide that then you'll see this image and it says upload a custom background image uh, 1600 pixels wide by 900 pixels tall. Um, so this is where you can upload your own custom image. So um, let's see, choose another, here's another one. Very cool. So it's that simple. The, the way this works, there's just two layers. There's the media library layer um, actually there's three layers. There's this, the, the library background layer, which you can hide, the custom upload background layer, where you can upload your own image. Behind that, there is a colored background layer, if you wanted a custom background color. So you can just pick to your heart's desire or type in um, any color that you want for that background. And one thing to keep in mind, notice how this color, um, background color, isn't quite the same here. The reason is because we have our opacity on. So if I zero that out, then you can see the actual color. And then you can change the font colors here. 
it as well as the button uh, border colors, the footer link colors, even the footer separator colors. But let's go back and turn on. There we go. Um, so, in a nutshell, that's uh, that's that's about it. That's really simple, uh, high converting template, uh, and you know we've had great success with this template, and a lot of our customers have too. So. Uh, if, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to send a message to myself, Lee, or my brother Ben at, uh, actually it's just leeshadle at gmail.com is my personal email. Um, you could also reach us through our website at templatelauncher.com. Just go to the contact section there. But uh, thank you so much for checking out our template and have a great day.